In today's video, we are going to discuss the Sokani X60. It is a competitor to the Godox SL60W and also in a kind of unrelated way, the Aperture 120D. It's a much smaller light than the SL60W. It's a little bit more powerful and packs a punch with some effects and some other really cool features. So first, let's look at the light. Here, right here is the Sokani X60. It's pretty small. It's almost half the size of the Godox SL60W and Aperture 120D. It's actually a little bit brighter than both of those lights as well. Um, and it's also got effects. Now this light is only daylight balanced, but again, for the price and for the features that you're getting on this thing, it's about $160, $170 and it really packs a punch. Um, one of the things I noticed is the Godox actually lowered their price. They're now $120, but they also come with less than this. The Sokani uses a typical DC input uh, and the Godox uses the computer adapter input, which is great, but it's also a huge cord versus the cord for this is much more compact. As far as trade-offs, the only trade-off I've really seen using this over an SL60W is there is quite a bit of fan noise. Not as much as some of the other Godox products, but compared to the Godox SL60W and Aperture 120D, this does have some noise. Now, if you're planning on using this light very close to your subject, then it may not be the light for you. However, if you're using this light to light a room or it's going to be multiple feet away from the subject, the fan noise from this is negligible, but I do want to point out that compared to the Godox SL60W, this does exhibit more fan noise than it. Now, it has some effects uh, that replicate TVs gone, that replicate lightning. They are really cool. I probably won't use them, but it's cool to see on here. It does come with a remote and it also comes with a carrying case that fits the light, it fits the reflector, and it also comes with some cool little diffusions that you put on top of the reflector. And uh, they're red, they're white, they're blue, they're yellow. So you can get some really cool uh, colored filters out of them. It doesn't necessarily replace colored gels, but it is a neat little feature that they throw into this little light setup. So in short, it's a small light that's powerful. It's a little bit more powerful than the SL60W and the 120D. Uh, but again, the size is what really sells it for me because I've been traveling with the SL60W and what's a pain is that I have to pretty much put it in my checked in luggage. And since it's an LED light, I'm not too worried because it's pretty sturdy. I, this light is so small that I could definitely bring it on the plane in my bag, in my, at least my normal bag, and I'd feel very comfortable. So in all, I would absolutely recommend this light it is great for the price and it's definitely going to be used a lot along with my SL60W. So if you have any questions on the light that I didn't cover, it's pretty basic. It's pretty similar to the SL60W just with those small little features. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Stogie who's our new channel editor and channel manager. Uh, he's going to be working on a lot of the videos with us and on top of that, we're going to start doing at least a video every other week and then hopefully starting in February we'll have a video a week because we do have a lot of products coming in and again this channel isn't just for filmmakers but it's for anybody who wants to make high quality videos on a budget so you could be making YouTube you can be making wakeboarding videos if you're trying to do videos and you're trying to use camera gear if you're just trying to have fun with life and, and have videos just making fun I'm making these videos to help everybody especially through my experience using these products on set because that's the biggest thing in the end do these products work work on set and this product absolutely does. Again, only thing with this is the fan noise, but neither here nor there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. My name's Jeff Fagan. See you guys next time.